Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the major CGD-5 cylinder guard. This is actually a package of five cylinder guards, which is how these are sold from major. That's what it looks like when it comes out of the box. Let's take one of these cylinder guards in a duronautic finish and let's study what it is all about. So, first of all, dimensional properties, and we'll talk about each one of these weighs about a tenth of a pound. Not that it matters, but just to let you know, literally about 0.1 pound. Outside diameter, looks like it's about an inch and pushing an inch and three quarter, maybe one and 11 sixteenths. Overall height of the collar, looks like it's seven sixteenths. Let's take a look at two other dimensions that uh, one dimension I get asked for. And the other dimension you need to know. So the one that I get asked for is what's the ID. And according to my caliper, the ID is 1.164, 1.164. The important dimension is of the 7 sixteenths height, and my caliper tells me, actually, no, it's half inch, 0.518. So 0.518, so just heavy on half inch, is the height of the shoulder down in here. So how much room is really left? 0 0.201. So 0 0.201, seven, about 7 30 seconds of an inch right down in here. So of the half inch, you've got about 3 16 down here so that your cylinder is going to fit into. So that's going to leave basically about 5 16 right? So 5 16 is roughly this dimension. Into that space, you're going to insert, obviously, the head of the cylinder, probably a mortise cylinder. But underneath there, you're probably going to want to use the wave washer as well. And what's interesting here is that these are not packed with wave washers. Yeah, it, it clearly says that wave washers are supplied with these. Ah, okay, great. So in that 516 space, is where you're going to stick the head of the cylinder and the wave washer. The wave washer is named because it literally does look like that. Okay, And that is meant to go inside of the head of the collar. You'll then compress that cylinder down and that wave washer is going to keep the cylinder guard tight on the face of the door. So at the end of the day, how much room do you need to add to the requirement of your cylinder for the for the wave washer and you know it's going to depend on how far you try to crush that cylinder down but i would say a quarter inch to be sh to be absolute sure on that probably 5 16 would be better uh would be my guess i'm looking around to see if i have a mortise cylinder within reach i don't let me let me go grab one let's let's take a look at it oh, actually i do i've got i've got something here that'll work Yeah, for sure. We've got a Schlage 80-103, a small format mortise cylinder housing. That happens to include the same concept, but we're not talking Schlage right now. So that housing will go inside of there. Well, it just sits in there. It sits really nice. Okay. You tighten that down a little bit, and you're only going to be able to compress it so much. So actually, underside of that head of that cylinder, yeah, about 3 16ths. Yeah, I'm going to stick with 5 16ths is what you're going to need to allow for the cylinder collar. Okay, That's basically what it'll end up looking like. So the cylinder collar is conical shaped because what's happening here is I'm attempting to demonstrate what it would be like if you're trying to put a pipe wrench on the head of that. That's meant to not only spin on the door, which it does, which it will, but to defeat or help defeat that pipe wrench attack by not allowing you to get your fingers around it. That's what that's for. Um, and that's what cylinder guards are for. So actually this cylinder is a great example of what's needed. So this cylinder is probably inch and a half, maybe inch and three eighths. Let's take a look. So this cylinder, yeah, inch and three eighths. Okay, that's way too long for a inch and three quarter thick door. It may work, but it's way too long is the bottom line. Why is it inch and three eighths? Well, because it's small format. You can't get small format mortise cylinder housing shorter than that when you're doing seven pin. It could be that a six pin is inch and a quarter, but they're generally inch and three eighths or longer, in fact. So 
inch and three eighths is what you're going to be stuck with. If you need to put a small format cylinder, a core, a small format core into a door, let's say a aluminum storefront, you're going to need a cylinder collar. I mean, you're going to have to have one. You won't be able to get this threaded in the lock so that the head of the cylinder is flush with the face of the door. You're going to need a guard. And this guard, in fact, the CG is perfect for inch and three eighths. And let's demonstrate why. Without, without using math, let's just demonstrate why. If you've got an inch and three quarter thick door, let's say that you want really the cylinder to project in not more than half of the door thickness. Well, that's going to be, what is that, uh, seven eighths? Sure, so it's going to be seven eighths. So you really don't want that going in any more than seven eighths. And at the end of the day, this is going to be basically about one inch, inch and a sixteenth. And that's possibly still too long, in fact. Because you're really, if you've got a thumb turn on the inside or another cylinder, you're going to need another guard underneath there or a taller cylinder collar. So that's going to be about one inch, which means if you're putting these back to back, it's not going to work. And that I will show you the other cylinder collar to work with from Major. But you can see that this 8103, that includes a, a stacking ring. You put those two together. You thread it in a little bit, and you're going to be pushing inch and three quarters. So that, uh, pardon me, three quarter inch. So that that ought to be adequate to get that inside the door. But at the end of the day, what you must be mindful of is calculating what size you're going to actually need, depending on the door thickness. So this collar is probably going to be better for your inch and an eighth uh, sort of scenario on an inch and three quarter thick door. And I will again show you one that's going to be slightly larger for an inch and three quarter thick door in an inch and three eight cylinder. So that's what it's going to look like. They sell these in packages of five. That's how they're sold. You know, you're probably not going to need a pack of five. That's very understandable if that's the case. At this time, we're not selling these singly. That might change at some point in the future. It's just not the case right now. But we can certainly guide you to uh, where you can buy just one cylinder guard. Let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at all of the supporting information. If you've not hit subscribe yet, we would very much appreciate if you did, and hopefully you're enjoying this video. Now, let's get back to it. All right, here's the cylinder guard that we are working on. Let's take a closer look at the extended description. CGD, cylinder guard in a D duronautic finish, duronautic powder coat. Five is five per pack. Cylinder guards, duronautic, they have other finishes. We'll take a look at those. Inch and three quarter is the diameter. Okay, we found it just maybe slightly shy. A cone of hardened steel protection for rim and mortise cylinders. Free spinning tapered cone shape. Resistant to channel locks, vice grips, pipe wrenches. Tough hardened steel for durability. Wave washer supplied to eliminate sloppiness of installation. Also larger size for longer six and seven pin IC type mortise and rim cylinders. Maybe sold in packs of five. When you buy one, we'll ship you five. Let's take a look at some photographs. There's the label on the box. That's what's in the box, uh, not including the wave washers. Just giving you a profile view, just a, a generic view. Looking down into the cylinder collar, the underside, a profile view. And that's your 0.2 inch, basically, right there. And that's your 0.518, I think it was, right there. And then we've got our wave washer as well, which you can see here. There's your package of five. It's literally called a wave washer. All right, now, product brochure, let's take a look at that. Stops a wrench from gripping and crushing. There you go, sure does. So the CG is up here, 3 sixteenths and half inch. The CGM is going to give you 7 sixteenths, so an additional quarter inch. And then of course you have the CGL, and quite frankly the CGL would be the model I would be looking to use. Well, that, that's, no, the CGM would be best for that inch and 3 eighths because you're going to need 3 sixteenths on that wave washer which means actually 4 sixteenths. Yeah, you have to crush that down. But let's just say you're going to use an eighth of an inch on that wave washer. So that'll be 
nine sixteenths, nine sixteenths, inch and three eighths minus, uh, you know, nine sixteenths is going to be basically thirteen sixteenths. And you cut that in half, and you're nominally at inch and three quarter thickness. So if I was putting two cylinders back to back, I would be using the CGL is what I would be using based on in this information. What else is on this catalog page is the finishes. And the CG, you can do aluminum powder coat, dark bronze powder coat, gold powder or brass powder coat, uh, oil rubbed, polished chrome plated. So, I'm sorry, aluminum and dark bronze are powder coated. Polished brass, polished chrome and satin chrome, they're plated. Oil rubbed, they say is plated. Um, I don't know that that to be plated, but it will have to be plated because it's made of steel. It's not made of bronze. You wouldn't want a cylinder collar made of bronze. The description that's here is what we've already gone over. And this page is really handy because it gives you the short list of what you'd be looking at. Now, why would you buy a cylinder guard rather than just a simple trim ring? Well, it's because you literally want the ability to defeat this pipe wrench type attack. You can quite easily do a cylinder collar, not unlike, well, exactly like this, but let's take a look at one that's half inch thick. You know, you're not going to use a wave washer with this, but this sort of item is, is not really going to be well suited to protect necessarily because you're, you're, the head of your cylinder is going to sit outside of here, so you're not protecting the head of the cylinder, you're just stacking it off, blocking it off. This is going to help protect the head of the cylinder itself as I demonstrated earlier. They also have a two inch diameter model, whereas the one we're looking at is inch and three quarter. It may be something advantageous for your application. This I would say would be for much more typical applications, non-interchangeable core, shorter cylinders. And then another little doodad here is on that page as well if you wanted to know. You know, sometimes visual aids are very helpful, visual indicators. All right, now there's also below this video a link to dimensional drawings, and that's pretty handy to have because it will allow you to at least take a look and see what it looks like. So there's your CG model right here. Okay. Now there is a link below this video as seen here to the manufacturer's page. And from here, you can pull up not only all of the major products that we sell, by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the manufacturer's full product catalog. I would absolutely recommend that you dive into this, and let's just do a find function for CG, uh, just CG, that's the best way to find it. CG will get you into that part of the catalog about a third of the way in. And you'll be able to see in this part of the catalog as you scroll up and down associated items. Latch protectors come right before it. Um, ways to guard against physical attacks on knobs and deadbolts. Other security hardware are here as well. So if you integrate hardware, if you're looking at a cylinder guard, you might be very happy to see the rest of the security hardware that Major has. The second half of the catalog is full of templates and jigs and installation aids and whatnot for installing a variety of lock sets and strikes. Many, many products you will find easier to install if you've got a template from Major. If you do any of that work, you'll certainly want to review this catalog. And if you have any questions on which are the right installation tools to buy, or templates to buy for a particular lock type, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help navigate uh, being sure that you're ordering the correct item. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, so here we are. If you have any questions on the cylinder guard in a duronautic finish or any of those other finishes, please feel free to reach out to us. Actually, let me give you a part number. Major has a kit full of a variety of different cylinder guards, which we have in stock. I think it's the CAK-15. I will find it. CAK Cylinder Accessory Kit-15. It has some, it's got CGs in there and it has all other trim rings as well. So you might find it really handy to have a cylinder accessory kit 
in the truck while you're knocking around. You know, you just want to wrap up and go. You need some trim rings or maybe a cylinder guard, and that kit may have the one that you need. CAK-15. Any questions on this or any other major product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.